Okay, this video will show you how to install drivers and firmware onto a Mac for your RME interface. One of the cool things about the RME drivers and firmware is that they can be used generically across their interface range. So although today we'll be showing you how to do this with a Fireface UC, this could apply to the Fireface 400 or 800 for example. Please note that if you are using a Fireface UC, there are two operating modes. The first is Windows PC and the second is Apple Mac. To do this, double click the main control knob on the front panel until you see PC for Windows or AP for Apple Mac. It is important that you select the right mode before you install any software or make any connections. You are now ready to connect your firewire cable or USB cable between the interface and your computer. OK, for those of you who are upgrading, it's often better to remove your old drivers and start afresh. And to help you do this, go to the RME website, which is rme-audio.com. Go to RME Forum under Quick Links on the left. Then go to Tips and Tricks. Then select the appropriate link that shows you how to remove your drivers, i.e. HDSPE or Fireface. When you select that link, it will then give you full instructions on how to remove the appropriate drivers. OK, so you should now have a clean system ready for install. So head back to the RME website and go to Downloads. Once you get to Downloads, you will see a list of the various interfaces. And for the sake of this demo, we are, of course, installing the Fireface UC. Now scroll down to the appropriate driver, in our case it's the Mac OS, and it will always be the latest driver available on the site. It's also worth downloading the Flash Update tool, as both the Flash Update and the drivers work together. OK, so we now have our driver and Flash Update tool downloaded to our desktop. Simply double click on them and they will unzip into the appropriate folders. Now let's double click the driver folder and select the file ending in .pkg. Then hit the install button. You may of course have to enter your password. And then continue. And you should now see install succeeded. OK, now reboot your system. OK, now that you've rebooted, you should be able to see the Fireface Mixer and Fireface settings in your dock. If you want any more information or further help with the mixer, then you can go to audiopros.eu forward slash media center, where there'll be a link for another tutorial on how to use the mixer. If you can't see the mixer and settings in your dock, simply go to your Mac HD, select applications, and you should be able to see the mixer and settings in there. Then simply grab them and drag them into your dock from there. OK, so this just leaves your firmware. So select the folder, which in our case is Fireface USB Flash Updater. Go to the dot .flash program and double click. It will then bring up the update tool, show you your current revision and your present status which shows up to date here but we will update this just to show you the process so click the update button and you will see that it erases the present firmware and then programs the new it's worth pointing out that you should not disconnect anything during this process as you may cause some damage <laughs> Okay, you should now be fully updated and ready to work.